so uh, example like you know i'm assuming ip must be hard to value like how, what are, what kind of things are hard to do evaluation oh, yeah. of? what kind of damages are hard to that so i mean yeah it has a lot to do with the how cooperative the counterparty is in providing information but also you know some calculations Calculations it could be just really based on revenue, a share of revenue, or something like that. And, and depending on uh, whose burden of proof it is, sometimes we don't have to prove costs ourselves. So, where our focus is on only, you know, a simple calculation based on gross number, that is, of course, more simple than if it's a type of a calculation where we have to calculate as actual profits and we have to ascertain what the costs were that the cost documentation tends to take a long time to process um, it also depends on where the information is coming from some parties are more organized than other parties sometimes the information is made available in native format which is much more you know it's easier for us to use um, we just got you know we're working on a matter um, where we got stack of paper FedEx to us overnight mm -hmm. instead of the, you know, text files that we asked for, which are in the native format of the document. And so I think counterparties try to make it hard for us to do our work. And so those damage calculations where the counterparties are doing that are really difficult. Um, so definitely just the more complicated they are and the more documentation that depend on other people to provide, um, that's what's going to make a damage calculation more difficult. Well, you, you mentioned initially you also do intellectual property valuation. So like, I'm assuming those those can be pretty pretty hard to do sometimes, right? Because some of it's subjective, like, well, you know, what's my trademark really worth if it's a local trademark? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming, right? Is that correct or? Well, yeah. So I, I would say um, it is a craft, <laughs> not really an art or a science, actually. It's more of a craft valuation is. Uh, and, you know, I would say the hardest assets to value are the ones that aren't generating any income. It's actually fairly easy to value something if it's an asset that's throwing off cash. Right. But if it's something like a creator has some works that were in the vault um, that haven't ever been exploited. Those are much more difficult to value because you can't go on cash that's been thrown off by the asset. And, you know, there's different methodologies. One methodology is to look at what the prices are for comparable transactions. And in a lot of cases, there aren't comparable transactions that are that there's enough public information about. So if if try to employ the methodology of looking at comparable transactions because that um, can pose some challenges and be complicated. But on the other hand, I would say, you know, any asset that's generate, generating cash is fairly straightforward in terms of potentially being able to value it. 